Hi, my name is Autumn Wintersgill from Knitting in the Red, and today we're going to talk about how to crochet socks. You can choose to make socks with or without toes. The heel is worked the same as the toe. It is the same technique. So, you will begin making your sock by crocheting the ribbed cuff. To begin, you are going to chain the number of stitches to indicate the height that you want the cuff to be. Then, you are going to make one extra chain and turn your work to work from left to right. Ribbed crochet is worked by working the stitches into the back of your chains. You will continue making rows of single crochet through the back posts across the entire row. You'll chain one at the beginning of your next row and continue doing single crochet through the back post. Complete this pattern until you have reached the number of rows to fit around your entire ankle, providing stretch. So this fabric is intended to stretch. Your foot will not fit into the sock if you do not allow it to stretch properly. After you've completed the cuff of the sock, you will start doing the single crochet through the back post pattern around the entire cuff. So you will be picking up stitches around the entire cuff and working it with the same single crochet through the back post until you reach the part where you want to put your heel. Begin making the decreases for the toe. So you will decrease until you have reached the width of the sides of the foot to fit the toes into the sock. Make sure that you try on the sock at this point to make sure that it fits and make any necessary adjustments. When you are making the toe of the sock, you will stop your work in the round and chain one and you will turn your work to work the same technique as you worked for the heel. You will do single crochet through the back loop stitches all the way across until you have reached the width that you want the sock of your toe to be. I generally recommend crocheting half the number of stitches that you have in the round for your toe to make the toe of the sock. So if you have 28 stitches around your entire sock, you will be working short rows on 14 of those stitches. When you reach the end of your first short row, chain one and turn and continue working single crochet through the back loop stitches. After you've completed enough crochet short rows to make the length that you want the toe to be when it is folded in half to fit over your toes, you will want to turn your work completely inside out and you are going to attach the short row toe to the round of the foot that you worked. So in the last corner that you made of your crochet work, you're going to join the round with the flat work with slip stitches. Make two slip stitches in that corner. Then make one more round of stitches around the entire foot and you're going to join the second corner with slip stitches. So make a slip stitch in the corner and then grab the top edge of the toe and make a slip stitch to join it to this corner. When you turn it inside out, you will need to join the toe top to the top of the foot with slip stitches as well. So the top right here is joined with the toe on the inside of the work with slip stitches going from the corner to around the top of the foot. Again, my name is Autumn Winterskill from Knitting in the Red, and you just learned how to crochet socks.